Friends, last December 1, 2013, the Catholic Bishops' Conference of the Philippines formally declared 2014 as the Year of the Laity. This is in line with our preparation for the fifth centenary of the arrival of Christianity here in our land. Today, we will highlight some points of the pastoral exhortation, Filipino Catholic Laity, called to be saints, sent forth as heroes, declaring the year of the laity. Let us begin with a bit of history. The Christian faith arrived in our land in 1521 when Ferdinand Magellan, a lay person, accidentally discovered the Philippines. This beautiful accident led to the coming of the faith of Raja Humabon, his wife Juana, and all their people. The gift of faith symbolized by the iconic statue of Santo Nino de Cebu spread like a wildfire thanks primarily to lay persons. The first and most important truth about you, Filipino Catholic laity, is the greatness of your dignity, says the CBCP. This is the very dignity of being children of God and sharers in Christ's threefold mission that each lay person receives from baptism. You are not second-class members of the people of God, the CBCP continues. You have a particular mission in the sanctification and transformation of the world. Yes, my dear friends, lay people have that mission, and the church celebrates and lauds all those who are responding to the call to be sharers in the work of the Lord, the catechists, the lay missionaries, the liturgical ministers, all those who work in and for the church. Pope Francis keeps on exhorting us to go into the worlds of the family, business, economics, politics, education, mass media, and social media. You lay people more than the ordained can and should go into the depths of these worlds to bring Jesus and the gospel. Do not be afraid. Be courageous in being the salt of the earth and the light of the world. What have the lay faithful been doing to satisfy the demands of justice and charity? What are you doing to rid our country of graft and corruption? Do you allow the truth to suffer? Do you allow the common good to be ignored? We must seek what is right, speak what is right, and do what is right, and to do so in love, that is, in solidarity with and in service of others says the CBCP. To effectively carry out this mission, the lay faithful are encouraged to know the content of our faith and to bear witness to our faith by a life of faith. In a nutshell, learning the fundamentals of our faith as handed down by the teacher in the faith, that is, the church, and living it as the basis of your daily activities and decisions. The CBCP president, Archbishop Socrates B. Villegas, D.D., reminds us, it is only an integral faith, a faith that believes, a faith that worships, and a faith that works in love that will serve as God's way to make all things new in our beloved country. All are likewise encouraged to read, study, and pray with the Bible as it will nourish our lives. Have recourse to the sacraments which the Lord instituted as vessels of His grace. And lastly, to stand up and speak up for Jesus and the Church like the holy martyrs, Saints Lorenzo Ruiz and Pedro Calungsod. Our dear lay faithful, never be ashamed of your faith and your Church. Be bold and show to the world the work of God in you.